in the previous example, we saw how we can slow down particles entering a volume and how to change the color. Let's change the display to large dots and see how we can delete these particles when they enter the geosphere. As you probably know, we can do a history independent deletion by setting a selection channel based on the object in volume. We'll set the input geometry to the same geosphere as we had in the stock simulation, and we can set the position channel without transformation into world space because stock particles are already in world space. And if we add a crypto delete to the stack, then once we update, we see that the uh, uh, particles inside the sphere are deleted, but once they go out, they're coming back to life. So the red particles have been in the sphere and they're not being deleted. This is because it's history independent. We need a history dependent deletion. Obviously we can use that color since we have marked the particles that have been inside the sphere with a special color. We can, for example, extract the red component compare to uh, a value. For example, we can say if it's equal to one, like in the case of the red color, then the particles will be deleted procedurally and they are not coming back to life. However, if our emitter happens to have fully uh, enabled red component in its color, for example, something like this, this orange color would give a false positive because uh, it has exactly the same red component as the marking color that we used. In this case, all the particles will be deleted and that's not something that we want. Instead of using the color, which uh, is just a side effect of our previous setup, we'll use the BERT magma to set up a new channel. We'll use the ID channel as prototype and we'll rename it to a completely new channel called to delete. It will be still integer 32 with arity of one. And uh, we can set the value of this channel to zero at birth time. We see that there is a new to delete channel and we can use the same menu to uh, automatically check it or we can manually check it to be cached. Inside our uh, step magma, we can set up exactly the same channel and we'll create a rule that says that this uh, to delete channel will be uh, set according to the in volume test either when it's true, we'll be setting it to an integer of one or to itself when it's false. So we'll set this ID channel to be called to delete. Now the logic is set and we can modify our Krakatoa Magma for the deletion to also read the to delete channel. We'll have to remove the breakout, but keep the equal test and we'll change the equal test to not be comparing to an in a float but to an integer and this integer will have a value of one. The to delete doesn't exist yet so we'll disable that magma uh, temporarily until we simulate. Now if you run the simulation a new channel called to delete with an integer 0 or 1 will be generated and all we need to do is enable the magma, enable the delete and now the red particles which also have a to delete set to one will be deleted. If we disable the deletion, it's uh, going back and forth. So this is procedural deletion. The particles exist, they are just marked for deletion to a new custom channel. However, if you're simulating millions and millions of particles, you might want to actually delete the particles during the simulation in order not to save them. So we can set the lifespan to a very large number in order not to delete uh, too early and then we can set the output channel to be lifespan and this lifespan channel decides when a particle that has reached a certain age should be deleted. Um, we will pass the lifespan when the condition is false and we'll pass a zero when the condition is true, a floating point zero. That means it will suddenly drop the lifespan to zero and any particle will be immediately deleted when that happens. Now, if we simulate the previously red particles will not exist at all. They will be deleted during the simulation and our PFT on disk doesn't contain anything. We don't need the procedural 
stack to delete anything uh, will have all the particles killed during the simulation. As you can see, there are many ways to uh, delete particles procedurally. 